It is Monday, I have a day off, and I've just come back from a festival, so I am very tired still, and in need of more coffee, for sure. I was wondering what I wanted to do for this first video back after a ridiculously long hiatus again. I thought about doing something about why I've been away, and then realised that I have no cool reason for being away. Um, I've just started a new job, so I was more focused on that. In amongst all of that, I realised I was spending a lot of time trying to think about being myself more, um, more within a work professional setting, not masking my disabilities as well as my abilities, um, being dyslexic and neurodivergent. I have made a conscious effort to unmask myself and shout about my strengths and I'm working in a workplace where my strengths are genuinely celebrated. I mean I've been in places where people have accepted my disability but here they've picked up and noticed my strengths and it's so weird. Like nice weird it's very nice weird but it's made me reflect on yeah yeah you know what sod it i shouldn't have to just try to fit in to the typical way of doing stuff i shouldn't come up with excuses that sound more feasible than the actual truth which is i'm a dyslexic mess and i totally forgot to do it because even if i do forget to do something because i'm chaotic time blind mess it's not like I wanted to, it's not like I didn't care, and I will make efforts to fix it. And that's what matters, and the people I work with now notice that, and it's very refreshing in that professional sense. And I'm trying to transfer that to all of my life, generally and holistically. I'm just going to be me. And then I decided to, to do that. I was like, right, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to unmask and be myself and say what I'm thinking. Stop forcing myself to hold back. And I realised as I've decided, you know, I'm going to unmask in all of my life. I've been asking myself, who is me? Who am I? Who is me? I know that's not grammatically correct, but um, it, it's not grammatically correct. But in the sense of the identity of me and... So that's what I've been trying to think of and I've been trying to think what in my life do I do I do enjoy partaking that is significantly me and I love the photography and videography but I have this constant level of doubt that I'm just crap, I'm not good enough and when I've got that playing on my mind I start to lose interest in it a bit too because it no longer becomes fun and creative um, because I, I'm like, I need to be productive, organised, I need to pre-plan, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need this equipment, I need that tool in order to get the best out of it and be perfect from the beginning. And I'm not perfect. I've never been perfect. I've always been a chaotic mess. I've always been... Um, the thought that stumbles on her words and every so often is really 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 good with her words that it surprises people and apparently sometimes what I say makes a really significant impact on people's lives and that still shocks me because I think really? I'm a bumbling idiot but thank you I'm glad my ramblings have, have had some sort of a positive impact but, here it goes again, train of thought. <laughs> God. In all of this, noticing what are my flaws and hindrances and difficulties as part of my dyslexia and neurodivergency and, and general personality, I have questioned, am I doing what I want to do? 
not career, I'm not talking about career here, I'm absolutely fine with my job choice. Um, already jumped through that hurdle. Um, <laughs> I I think, right, what, what creative focus, what personal life goal focus am I going to have? And am I just being flighty and interested and I'm going to suddenly change my mind and suddenly get into rock climbing next week instead? Um, that was a really bad example because I'm extremely unfit. And, and, <laughs> are you right there, Cookie? Your tongue's sticking out. Yeah? Yeah. And train of thought, gone again. <clears throat> Trying to find creative goals and outlets, that's what I was talking about. Um, I realise that I am flighty, but because I can be flighty, I really, really doubt my interest in things. It's not so much that I'm like, I completely lose interest in something after a short amount of time of being obsessed with it. It's that something new comes along and I get obsessed with that and it takes over. But it doesn't mean that I've lost interest in the previous things. I still enjoy those things, just it much more moderately. <laughs> and I'm learning to accept that and trying to accept that. And um, that's another reason I've been absent for so long. And why I'm getting back into it. Uh, because I'm, I, I'm getting back into it because I bought a drone. So I'm very excited to get new drone footage so I think I'm going to cut off my ramblings short for once I doubt it's that short and um, use this video to reintroduce myself back into doing videography it's not fun it's not creative well it is fun I'm sure it's fun it will be fun once I get into it but this video is not going to be um, very well structured, it's not going to be significant, it's not going to be poignant, maybe the next one will be, but this is just me getting myself back into it and telling myself I am chaotic, disorganised and I have fun without purpose sometimes and that's okay. Um, I don't have to make everything significant, poignant and um, good. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. This video is not perfect. It won't be perfect and the aim is for it to be imperfect because I have got to just accept that that is who I am. So let's celebrate that and that's what this video is. Very weird. Lacking any structure but hey ho, here we go. Cue some sort of slightly cinematic footage. Thank you for waiting for so long for such a crappy video. <laughs> right, I'm stopping. Goodbye. Bye 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 bye. bye. My chest, my heart